pumping? Why aren't you not pumping? I hate you, you stupid coin. You were supposed to pump, but you're not pumping. I don't like you. You stupid shit coin. You were supposed to pump to fifty dollars already, but you're still below one dollar. <laughs> Hello and welcome friends to this video today. Um, this was my Ripple song. I composed it extra for you. It took me a very long time. I, I composed it. Uh, took me weeks to compo compose this uh, very complex piece of music. I hope you like it. And the topic today is, uh, you guessed it, I mean it was in the song, is XRP. We are going to talk about XRP. And we are going to analyze XRP like what is it doing? What is this stupid coin doing? It was supposed to make me rich. And now look at you, what are you doing? So let us then look at XRP. What is XRP doing? So last time we said that XRP is in a long term bullish wedge formation or basically it's doing a very long term triangle. Now we cannot 100% say that this is a bullish wedge because of course we know that it always depends on what Bitcoin is doing, right? If Bitcoin will be pumping, then I'm very sure that this wedge will break to the upside. If Bitcoin, however, will be dumping, then logically this wedge will break to the downside. So therefore we must first take a look at what Bitcoin is doing, right? Before we analyze XRP. So let us go over to our friend Bitcoin. And what can we see Bitcoin doing? Now, Bitcoin is doing a funny bottom structure. If we look at the last bottom structure, it was quite similar, you know? So it dumped and Bitcoin isn't doing these strong reversal bottoms anymore that, that it was doing uh, in the early days, you know? In the early days, when Bitcoin dumped a lot, you could be quite sure that you would see an insanely strong reaction. I mean, just look at what Bitcoin was doing. It was dumping and bam, immediately a strong back reaction. Dumping, bam, immediately a strong back reaction. Dumping here, like this is the most insane case. Dumping, bam, in immediately insane back reaction. Like we are talking from 165 to 340. So it just doubled as a back reaction, right? And now if we compare to the current behavior, it is completely different. Bitcoin is dumping and then it's like uh, uh, doing a weird structure and then suddenly it's pumping again. Here again, it's dumping and then uh, uh, doing weird structure and then I think it will be pumping again. Now, why do I think it will be pumping again? Why do I think that it will repeat this bottom structure here? First of all, it looks very similar, right? Quite obviously, these two things here look similar. And until now, also this bottom structure looks similar, right? Second of all, if we go to the weekly chart, we can see that Bitcoin has been in this flat corrective structure here. And it has been uh, doing a quite strong bullish divergence in the weekly RSI. So we have established that already a few times in the last videos. I don't want to repeat it too often. Um, but in the daily, we can really see how fascinatingly similar these bottom structures are. And if it was to repeat this structure, which lasted 63 days, so this whole corrective move here lasted 63 days, uh, this would put uh, the starting date for the upwards uh, structure in late March, 25th of March. Now, we should always keep in mind that, of course, like here, Bitcoin can hit uh, a low the third time, right? If we go here, we see that once, twice, three times did Bitcoin go to $28,700, shortly below $28,000. So it could absolutely do this again. It goes once, twice, and the third time, you know, in on the 25th of March, a third time to 31,000, and then bam, it continues the uptrend. We should be certainly aware that something like this can absolutely happen. So if this was to happen, what does this in turn mean for XRP, right? Because we want to talk about XRP. XRP is doing this quite fascinating uh, wedge since, wow, crazy March 2020. The support is 
an almost straight line in the logarithmic chart. Keep in mind, this is a logarithmic chart uh, since March 2020. And uh, the resistance is coming down in a straight line again in the logarithmic chart. Please keep in mind that straight lines in logarithmic chart, when the y axis is logarithmic, it's actually an exponential curve, okay? So the resistance is coming down and the support is going up. Quite symmetrical, quite symmetrical. So this will, of course, then depend what Bitcoin is doing, right? So now if Bitcoin doesn't do a new low and just go sideways and starts pumping again, then we can expect XRP to follow and break to the upside. If Bitcoin, however, does one last dump to the 30 something thousand area, as we said before, we can expect XRP to retest again this support line, probably bounce and then go up. Now, if an extreme case comes, then Bitcoin dumps for whatever reason to 25 or even 20,000, which we can never exclude. We can never exclude such a th scenario because we are always talking about probabilities. My nose is itching. <laughs> we are always talking about probabilities here. Please keep in mind that we live in a probabilistic universe and there's never anything 100% determined. Not even that the Earth will not be destroyed by a gamma ray burst, for example. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? So this means we have to wait and see what Bitcoin is doing. But since I said that Bitcoin is doing a bullish structure, a running flat correction and shows a strong bullish divergence, hidden bullish divergence in the weekly RSI, for me, the odds are much higher than Bit that Bitcoin will be pumping. But of course, it's not excluded that Bitcoin will dump to 20,000 and then XRP would also be breaking this triangle to the downside. Then we would see a strong rebound and then we would see a pump to new highs. And how high will XRP go? How high will you go XRP? Hmm? Well, how high will it go? This is of course determined by our good old Fibonacci levels. So we take the Fibonacci extension from top to the lowest low and we have about $14 as a first target. And then we go to the full extension and we see it, the full extension is at $58. But what we can see that there will be a strong resistance at around $14, right? 13.8 here. And then there was the maximum resistance at also about 13.8. So uh, 13 point something, I think will be a first preliminary peak. So I can imagine the following happening. We bounce around, we do weird stuff depending on what Bitcoin is doing, right? And then at some point, I think there would be huge news from the lawsuit. There was uh, an update recently that the fair notice defense um, argument of, of Ripple is uh, pretty valid. And the SEC's attempt to destroy this argument has been rejected by the court, which is super important. So this means that the likelihood for Ripple winning the case or that there is a settlement is now way over 90%. Like the likelihood that Ripple is winning this case now is, I think, 95, 9, even 98 or 99%. It's extremely high. So what I think will happen at some point, um, there will be news, either settlement or Ripple will win or something. I don't know what, but there will be huge news um, between now and when this triangle ends. Then we will see a huge pump and the first initial pump will go to the Fibonacci level at 13.5. Then we will have a huge correction. We will have an oscillation movement. And then I think we will have a second pump. Now, how long this here is, I don't know. I think it will be pretty quick. It will go up. Then we have a strong correction, maybe a bit of oscillation. And then Bitcoin will reach the final top in my opinion, we said it quite a few times already uh, in late 2022, so later this year, December 2022 or early 2023, January, February 2023. XRP, like other altcoins, is just following Bitcoin. It's like the, it says always a delay of a few weeks between the top of Bitcoin and the top of the altcoins. So XRP will consecutively have the top a few weeks after Bitcoin. And I think it will then um, pump a second time because that's what it liked to do many times. Uh, we can see it here in 2017, it did the same. It pumped twice actually. So I suppose something similar will happen. And then uh, when Bitcoin reaches the top, not long afterwards, XRP will do the second pump and reach the full Fibonacci extension. That is my current picture. 
always has been. I was always pretty bullish on XRP. Now, sure, it's taking a lot longer than I expected. I was wrong on the timing. I was thinking that XRP would pump sooner. However, XRP is not the only coin that uh, has done such a structure. We should be aware that Dash, IOTA and some other legacy altcoins, you know, the older altcoins, they also had similar structures where they did not quite reach the all time high from 2017. So XRP is not the only coin. Therefore, sure, it's taking longer than anticipated. But if we look at it long term, if we look at, a, at it from a long term perspective, then actually the chart is looking super bullish. First of all, we're having a very strong um, bullish divergence. We have higher lows here, right? And we have lower lows in the RSI. So hidden bullish divergence, classic case. So this means that the coin is actually oversold and that the price <clears throat> doesn't really want to drop any further. So it's uh, the price actually refuses to drop further, even if there's bad news and it's just waiting. It's like, ah, just give me one single reason. Just give me one small reason to pump. I need just one small reason to go crazy. That's what this says, basically, this hidden bullish divergence. And the XRP BTC chart is, of course, also telling us that it will pump. Look at this fascinating long term structure. We have this um, we had this falling wedge structure that I, I, I mentioned a few times already. So XRP was doing a falling wedge and this falling wedge has now broken to the upside. So falling wedges are normally bullish structures, as we know. And this was confirmed now because now XRP started pumping. And how high it will go, we don't know. If we go into the four hour chart, normally we don't do short term stuff on this channel. But what I can see is that it bro broke out of the wedge, right? It was in this falling wedge. It broke out of the wedge and retested the previous resistance. That's what every coin likes to do. It, or not only coins, also stocks and other assets. They break resistance. And then they retest resistance. They come down again. And what has been resistance is now support. So the previous resistance has now turned into support and it's retesting this. So this is happening here and it's retested it once and almost a second time. And now it's pumping again. So there was this spike came from the news that the SEC's attempt to strike Ripple's fair notice defense has been denied. This means that the likelihood for Ripple winning the case has increased dramatically. And I'm talking like way over 90%, 98% or something like when, like losing this case on, at this point for Ripple has become almost an impossibility. So what I think will happen now, I think uh, XRP BTC will continue pumping. We had this pump here and I, I suppose now it's doing some kind of one, two, three corrective structure, ABC corrective structure, right? And I think then it will start at some point pumping higher. Um, so this is certainly excellent news that this wedge I have drawn here has been indeed broken to the upside. And I personally suspect that the likely target for this whole move will be in the range of, um, yeah, given by the given by these previous peaks here. We see a kind of some rising trend, right? Uh, although I have to say those two peaks are almost identical, but they are certainly higher than the first two peaks. So we can see a rising trend. So therefore I suspect that this peak here for XRP in this cycle will be even higher than the first two, right? Because we are in some kind of ascending channel. So I can expect XRP if we, if we go to the final top, it could do a double pump, right? It could do a double pump. It pumps now if XRP wins the case or there's a settlement, then we go back down and then it goes a second time. It pumps a second time, similar to here. Maybe it goes down further. We don't know. It could do a structure similar to here. But I think the final target for XRP BTC is indeed in that area. So we are talking the 25,000 to 30,000 Satoshi area, somewhere around in this region. So what does this mean for, for XRP USD? This means that the BTC going to about $200,000 as a top in this cycle. This would put the price for XRP at around $50 to $60. Okay, so quite fascinating. This XRP BTC chart 
is completely in line with the full Fibonacci extension that we mentioned before, which was at 50 something US dollars. Isn't this fascinating? That this is another confirmation th that the target is likely in that range. And also we should always keep in mind, does a price that seems now exaggeratedly high, $50, it seems crazy, right? Does it make sense from the perspective of market caps? And then we find out absolutely yes, it does. Why? First of all, XRP in every bull cycle, so in 2013 and in 2017, both of the times it reached at, at the top 50% of the market cap of Bitcoin. Keep that in mind. Both times it reached 50% of Bitcoin's market cap. So if Bitcoin goes to $200,000, this would put Bitcoin at what market cap? Let's check. Currently it's at 737 billion. Bitcoin would have a market cap of 3.8 trillion if it goes to about $200,000. So if we say XRP will reach 50% of the market cap in a brief, keep in mind a brief snapshot because it will not remain like that for months. This will be only a few days like in 2017. It surpassed Ethereum's market cap and was on the second place market cap wise at 50% of Bitcoin's market cap only for a few days. So if it repeats this, if XRP does repeat this, it will put it at a market cap of $1.9 trillion. What does that mean? That means that if we compare to the current market cap of 37 billion, so what we said 1.9 trillion, right? 1.9 trillion divided by 37.8 billion, that is a factor of 50. So we are at 50 times 0. 0.7864, which gives us a target price of $40. Okay, so $40, $50, this seems insane. But if, if we look at market caps and we do this check, this um, market cap plausibility calculation, we see that it's actually not such an insane thing. I mean, uh, an altcoin pumping to 50% of Bitcoin's market cap for a brief period of time is not impossible and it did already happen before. So XRP has already done this before. This is not something new. So therefore, I still maintain my picture and you can call me crazy and you can call me a shill or whatnot. I don't care. I just make plausibility assumptions and I take my experience that I had in this market since 2013 and apply this basically what I have witnessed, what I have seen to the current situation. And this tells me that XRP will go to at least like lower, like we are talking lower case here, at least $30 when Bitcoin reaches the final top of 200 to $230,000, but possibly as high as 50 or even $60 in this market cycle. Uh, don't give up. This market wants to like, this market is made for like destroying you mentally, but the patient ones always win in the end. Because what did Warren Buffett say? What did he say? The markets are an instrument where money flows from the inpatient to the patient. And we are the patient ones. We are the smart ones. So friends, be patient, be disciplined, have a nice day and see you next time. I absolutely hate you. Stupid shit coin ripple, I hate you. Why aren't you not pumping? You were supposed to pump. You were supposed to be already at $50. Yet you are still below one dollar. What the hell is wrong with you, you stupid coin? You were supposed to make me rich. You were supposed to give me Lambos. But you're still below one dollar, you stupid shit coin. Please start rising immediately.